Broadcasting live from the Vile Stadium in San Francisco, home of the 40 Nightmares. You know why this team is named that? Because their fans are known to wake up in a cold sweat screaming at the top of their lungs. <laughs> I don't blame them. Don't poke fun at their city, Grim. Plenty of great places to eat if you like vegan. Hey, I love to eat vegans, but they always whine when you're cooking them. Both teams hit the field ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The insane Colts go up against the San Francisco 40 Nightmares. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Welcome to another game day here on the MFL Network. Grim Blitzrow along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan. How you doing? Great city, isn't it, Bricks? Fantastic city. My motel even has free color TV. Oh, that's and nice. an ice machine that works. Wow. That was police tape blocking the bathroom because of the photographers in there. But other than that, no complaints. They, they give you free jelly at breakfast, too. Sounds like a real winner. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Eight. He blasts it and picks up seven yards right there. Second and three. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot three. Red ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of butter. That'd be And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Grim. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. And the player has one speed. He's the full of Murphy Brown. What? I mean, first down. What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. First down and one. Remember, folks, in the MFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback, just like that. <laughs> and that'll bring up second and one. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you think. Second down and seven. He broke free and has open field in front of him. And he held on to that one for a first down. <laughs> and it's first and ten.
second down and more than the QB would like. That's a catch for a 10-yard gain. Third and two. And the defense goes for the juggle. And the whistle blows the play dead along with the quarterback. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Second down in a very lot. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole up here. Talking to you. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the right. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Interception, and that's how you stop an offense. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. <laughs> First and ten. And the defense gets in the pow. And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Third down and, well, good luck. Six-yard gain. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down. Yeah, my next door neighbor with a human cannonball grin. He drowned in his pool. 
And it's first and ten. That's a nice catch for five yards. And so at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back. Second down at five. And that catch will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. catches and watch his confidence take off he is deadly in the open field bricks first down and one comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. And this guy is making a name for himself tonight with a pickup of about ten on that play. Hey, he makes up a name for himself every night. That's how he stays ahead of the bounty hunters. He's wanted in 50 states. And that'll give him four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. First and ten. And this guy looks like Thor on fumble. You've got to protect the ball better than that. And the defense recovers the ball. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! <laughs> well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. Looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's 
It's first and ten. Nice run for five yards. Second down and five. First and ten. And they stack the line and he gets his bell run for a yard. Second down and nine. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. First and ten. The defense falls for that trick all the time. <laughs> now they're mopping the players off the field. Literally. Second down and ten. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, he's going berserk. The ball carrier better watch out because if he gets hit, and that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the big six. For this, you just give him a head and tell him they don't suck. Second down and ten. First down. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Ah, oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blast for me. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Well, that's a strange penalty called right there. I'm starting to notice that this rep likes talking, and he don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. First down and long, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down and forever. QB's 
save some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. Second down and long. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he went on to the races. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stomp all over his opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection, too. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my... And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football, he gets away in a hurry. And it's first and ten. A nice run for a first down. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. We're back for the second half as the teams line up for the kickoff. The coach told his players they'll be strung up on the goalposts if they don't make this a game in the second half. That's how you motivate these pricks. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. defense lost another line basher on that play and only two remain on the roster. Their defense is getting very close to forfeiting this game. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Jerk. Ain't nothing worse than wasting a good explosive. Third down and look out. That's an all-out attack on the QB. His only chance. Well, if he was still talking, he'd probably be saying, Psycho killer. Qu'est-ce que c'est? What the fuck the fuck the fuck? I can't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and 
and it's first and ten. And the defense just knocked the wind out of that quarterback. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. That was equal parts great run and bad defense. Third down and five. Watch out, the roll. Catches the ball and oh, welcome to Fumbletown, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. And it's first and ten. They call this half a oh, and the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Banji, the new game from Wilton Crabtree. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have to made it the dice, Graham. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. And then, my friends, is why the world hates kickers. I kind of feel sorry for them. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Huh? What about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Brix's mom decided to move back in with us. Second down and two. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Oh, I'd love to murder. And 
and then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Ouch! What is this, Annie's wrestling? Second down and six. Defense goes one speed. Man, that defender just, oh, and they just deflated the quarterback's balls right there. Third down and long. Boom! Any field goals over 40 yards are difficult. He's going to really have to boom this one. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. That's a T-arm pass play, and that's not going to get it done. The offense needs to move the ball upfield. And that'll be second and eight to go. takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. And he snags the punt and looks... Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. Man, he shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down! And it's first and ten. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. And it's first and ten. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Oh, 
with the brutal hit. And it's first and ten. First and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Pow! With the brain scrambler! First and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First and eight to go. Defensive players go berserk. They've been known to rip. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. This man is such bullshit. This game is fucking rigged. I tell you, the programmers are speeding up the defense. I'm gonna write an email to that fucker. First and ten. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Just the Mary Margaret of our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And he just used his beast boost and into the end zone with a burst of speed. Now, I think he's more of a downers guy than a speed fleet grip. He's running from his demons. when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. way to keep the chains moving that was beautiful and it's first and ten as usual. for 
the first down. And it's first and ten. running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep them guessing. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. First down and six. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown. Touchdown. for one when you could go for two. It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, you're talking about points. Bam! Gutsy run for the conversion! You know, letting these dogs into the league is a slippery slope for him. First them, then vampires, then mermaids, then before you know it, we're letting in cat girls. You know, things really start to get weird at that point. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. And the defense gives up five yards there. Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. Second down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. and stop this or they're going to lose. Not like they need any help with that, though, Brad. These guys are doing fine by themselves. <laughs> and this is a first and long. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. wants to speed things up so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Prince's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a compliment. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Second down in a mile. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? Third down in forever. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. They've got to pick up the first down here or it's game over. San Francisco suffers a tough loss at home. But you know who's truly suffering? The people sitting in traffic after this game. They battled hard but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. Hey, man, I was hanging on, you know, now. You know, 
<laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.